Bitch, oh my, what is that on my nose? Oh, I had to make sure. Is it on, honey? Is it on? Is this bitch recording? Well, the red light is flashing, so that means yes, it is. What's up, YouTube land, Twitter land, Instagram land, Snapchat, Grinder, Scruff, BGC, Jack, Face Bitches, Corishan. I think we, oh, there it go. There it go. It done came on now. They said it done came on now. So I got to start the thing all the way back over. Is it on? Is it on, honey? Is this bitch recording? Well, the red light is flashing, so that means yes, it is. What's up, YouTube land, Twitter land, Instagram land, Snapchat, Grinder Scruff, BGC, Jet, Facebook, Periscope, and last but not least, every single one of my bitches. Christian Mingle and the lands all across the land. This is your girl T.S. Madison and I'm coming to you live, live and in the color from the marvelous chateau. And I just got to ask one question. Bitch, are y'all whole sleep? Baby, listen, y'all had told me don't bring Kaya back on here no more. <laughs> They did, Kaya. They told me don't bring you on my show. y'all bitches. Let's let y'all know y'all bitches ain't got no power. Kaya, they told me. They said, listen. Y'all bitches put say ain't got no power. Y'all ain't got no power. Y'all ain't got no clout. Y'all say the queen don't supposed to be back. The queen is back. Well, they told me. They said, don't bring you back no more because you came over here. You took over. You, you did it. hard to me. You, you did and said however you felt or whatever on my live. You cared. You that care. ain't what you let us do when we come on. Well, you know, for me. You, it, know, I, you let us talk. On Wednesday nights, it's unapologetically you after the dog. You know, you can come and do and say what you want to say, you know, when you want to say it and how you want to say it. Um, You've been gone. You ain't even been live since the last time. I have not been live, honey. You know, the queen unplugs because I really, you know, dip in and dip out. You know, but y'all been sending me all kind of emails. Y'all been wanting to talk to the queen. Y'all been wanting the queen opinion on all the bullshit that's been going on. Y'all been wanting to know what's been going on with the queen. What's the tea? Well, scoot over so they can see. see they can't going? see your gorgeous face. Okay, so the tea is right now is... uh. I miss y'all too. Uh, the tea is, I want to know who buying your albums, Kyle? Everybody buying them, bitch. <laughs> Everybody. Who, who buying your albums, Kaya? Everybody buying them and everybody twerking the yum yum sauce. Yum yum sauce took over the summer. I told y'all y'all was going to bring y'all New Year's in with the queen. And they brought it in with the queen. And they brought it in with the queen. Much love to everybody that's been repping for the queen. That's what's up. Okay. All you right. You look cute. Oh, thank you. You looking good. I see you got your love locks I got down. the love locks down tonight. Okay. You know, so I'm going to try my best to keep it cute. Okay, okay. And answer y'all questions. So tonight, we're going to do better than we did the last time you was here. We, you're going uh, to you're gonna really let me, let the people ask you the questions that they want. If they ask the questions that I want to hear. Now, don't get it twisted. Get everybody on the line. Open up the lines, bitch. <laughs> Next caller. Open up the lines. The queen is back. Yes, open up the line. There's been so much juicy tea that's been going on. Everybody been wanting to hear the queen's uh, tea on the 4th of July blog. Y'all know I've been recording. I've been in Nashville. I've been in New York. Much love to everybody down there um, at the public. Um, Frankie, you know I love you. Everybody in Nashville, you know, the queen will be in Houston on the 19th. So y'all make sure y'all check me out down there at the F-Bar. And I've been working, so i just been kind of busy and had not had a chance to do the 4th of July blog. So we're going to do the A to Z or at least anybody or anything that's been going on. We can do it tonight. Well, let's start out with something that you do know that you want to, that you really want to, to really open your mouth and talk about. Like, because you called me Ooh, other day. been so much. Yeah, you called me other day. You said, Madison, what's going on with Usher? <laughs> Usher? Y'all know Usher would have got letter U. So Usher's letter U for you. Lord, what's going on with Usher? Well, from my understanding, they acting like the usher don't sleep with fat women. And because, you know, that the big girl came out and she said, because it was so many people saying that he had gave them the herpes and things like that or whatever. But you had called me with some personal stuff that you had told me personally about usher that I would like for you to, to tell the people that you know. Y'all know once Chili made her statement a long time ago that usher had done crossed the line and she had to leave usher alone and it was something that she could not forgive and you know, all that extra shit that was carrying on back then. Chili had done let y'all know that he had to pay her off from all that tea that he But what you think, tell her because they look, what do you think that he, that, that, that she... You know the tea on Usher. Everybody knows Usher been messing with boys and girls and everybody know that Usher was had the herpes a long time ago. 
So he been paying folks off. This was supposed to have been the tea, you know. In Atlanta, this was supposed to have been the tea. So for the boys and girls to be coming up, talking about the herpes, you know, I feel like Chili was the first one that came up and said, my pussy is bumped up. And either you gonna pay me my motherfucking coins, bitch, or I'm going live. And Usher paid Chili off, and Chili kept her mouth closed. Wait a minute. You know, Chili kept her mouth closed, and on all the interviews, we wanted to know, you know, what it was about. You know, was it about Usher fucking Dallas Austin, or was it about, you know, you know. Wait a minute. It was the L.A. Kinda, Reed. I can't see you. You right know, did she can't... catch him with L.A. Reed? Everybody wanted to know the tea, you know. And Chili kept her mouth closed, so I'm sure Usher paid her a big amount of money. You know, now, even the other people that he paid off, they just opening and running their mouth, so can't do they owe him money now that they telling the team? What you think? Well, okay. I don't know this just word on the streets. Y'all know Usher would have got letter U. We all know Usher messed with the boys and the girls, so... You know, everybody ain't too shocked about everything that's going on. But so what the big girl got to do with it? Well, big, because small, the big male, girl female. came for Chi Chi, can you pull that up when the girl was up? Do you so you I, I, so you honestly did not see the big girl come forward and say that she uh that she had a one night stand with Usher and then like the internet was tearing was tearing her up because they were saying that Usher the Usher don't sleep with the big with the big girls. They, 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 they couldn't believe that. He sleep with the big boy. So what's the difference? But do you know that for, for a fact? That well, that's just what gossip, you know, that's word on the street. You know, the hood, you know, we get gossip while we eating our collard greens and when we up early in the morning, we get but you, gossip. But you, but the gossip is Usher been messing with the boys and the girls. And, you know, the wife looked a little, you know, the wife wasn't, you know, she wasn't no bathing beauty. So what's the difference with the big girl? I'm just saying, do you think Tamika got the herpes? Because she say she, the wife. Do you think she got the herpes if all these people is coming forward with saying that they got the herpes, the million dollar herpes? Because a lot of you bitches got herpes and, you know, just didn't get paid. <laughs> but these hoes got paid, so this is the news. Do y'all think the wife that birthed his two sons got the herpes if everybody else got it? Because she say she clean and free, and Usher say he clean and free. But Chili say she bumped up, and the other girl that was in the wedding say she bumped up, and the man say he bumped up, you know. But Chili never said that she had any bumps and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Chili didn't say that, Kaya. Chili slicked them edges back and said she had <laughs> She did. You don't remember Chili did that interview and said Usher crossed the line. It was something that she did to me, he did to me. Y'all don't remember Chili saying that. What y'all think it was about if it wasn't that? If it wasn't about them herpes, why did Chili leave Usher and get on the radio and say, you know, when he did let it burn, he let a lot of people burn. You know, a lot of people burned. But when Chili came forward and said they couldn't be together no more and, you know, it was just too much and, you know, it was something that a woman couldn't forgive, it was either A, the herpes, or B, she called us to give a head and, 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 and down that at the face. Now, which one you think it was? God but, damn! What other? What else will we not forgive? Now, as a woman, as, as we, a woman, we forgive I, a lot of shit. I want to know. As a woman, we forgive a lot of shit now. Now, I don't know. We forgive a lot of shit. We'll catch you phone numbers and shit in your phone and texts and shit, and you know, we'll catch you doing all that carrying on. And you know, if the money is right, we'll still stick around. But for her to say I'm gone, what else could it be? HIV? I'm going to give it to herpes. Or another man. What you think it was? I'm just saying we giving tea tonight. This is the tea. This would have been the 4th of July vlog. What y'all think it was? Nobody don't got nothing to say. I think maybe that y'all have so much to say when y'all be texting and tweeting and sitting and talking with y'all homegirls on on the phones and shit. Now we giving true tea. This live and out loud. What y'all think it was? I'm saying if Usher is being accused of giving all these people herpes, do you think that Chili and the wife have the herpes? Yes or no? But they saying that they saying that is not true. I I, I did look. Up, I'm gonna go to Google right now 
and look and see what the latest articles. The well, I'm gonna just say, Usher, I love you. I have always been a fan. And I just think this is just too much. I think that uh, everybody's coming forward. So anybody that fuck Usher, you know, they proud to say that they got the herpes as long as it's about a coin. So they coming forward. And, um, you know, Usher, you know, you done slept with a lot of people. So I feel like, God damn it, all your coins, if, if it is true, all your coins is going to be gone. Because everybody's coming forward. With the lawyer doing press conferences and shit, all you bitches hoes okay. pussy been leaking. So according to BET.com, <sighs> according to BET.com, your favorite place, your favorite place is <laughs> Petunia done lost a little weight. Who? Petunia. Deborah Lee, a.k.a. Petunia, I seen her at the BET Awards. She done lost a little weight. She, she done slimmed down. Don't do Petunia like that. According to the first, I, I typed in Ursha Herpes. And according to the first report that's located here, it says new report claims Usher does not have herpes. So Usher don't have it. It says Usher reportedly doesn't have herpes and plans to take legal action against. Hold on. Let me Everybody. Read. Even the girl he paid off? Who he paid off, Kaya? They say he paid off the girl that was in the wedding. The, the girl the, that was in the wedding. The bridesmaid. The bridesmaid. They say he paid her off. It was two women that he paid off, and then the the guy and the other big girl came forward. So I'm saying, if all these people saying that they got it, and he went to court, and they settled out of court. It's saying right here, Usher reportedly doesn't have herpes and plans to take legal action against the accusers. Do you see that right there, Kaya? You see it right there. That what they say. Well, Usher, I hope so, because this, this, this ain't a good way to Would you give one. him some Gucci? No. What? I want to get Usher. What make you want to get Usher no Gucci? I just think he got, but he's just a little soft, you know. He's a little soft around the edge, so I wouldn't give, I wouldn't give Usher no pussy. But see, I don't fuck niggas for money, so, you know. A lot of them bitches just fucked him because he was Usher, and this is, this is what's going on. They get Usher to the clinic. <laughs> oh no. Child, y'all know Usher would have got letter U. Y'all don't ain't no sense ain't no sense of being hot with the queen. I'm just giving my opinion. This is the team. Okay, well since we on the since we on What else going on? Since we're on the bisexual topic, let's let's move on to the other the other news at hand about um Bob, Bobby Valentino. Letter B. We would have gave letter B to Bobby. Bobby, I I think Bobby knew. Of course. And Bobby, and again, just like I'm saying about Usher, I feel it the same way about Bobby. I'm here. You know, people talk. Bobby been, been, you know, down at the, on, on Cheshire Bridge. What's on Cheshire Bridge? I'm just saying. Can you tell the people out there what's on Cheshire know. Bridge? Oh, You know, I'm just saying he be on the Ave and stuff. So, <laughs> you know, I don't feel like it was a big surprise to me but bobby valentino got that usher sugar a little bit too that same little tilt to the side it's a little head tilt that they got what do you mean like a like a like a broken wrist yeah like but a, not that um, it's a little tilt so so it it's a little it's something it's a little tilt bobby and usher they twins on that on how, it's something in there i went i i personally would not have gave bobby valentino no pussy either so neither one of them i would have gave no pussy thank god you know i don't have to worry about none of that carry on but it's a little tilt with bobby what you think do you think oh, he knew i mean no? of course like this is atlanta and then we also have to i mean i'm not reading the girl you know but some but why things she are, get some things money? are obvious to the eye. Well, I mean, I was I was reading, I was reading what she was what she was saying. You know, I watched a little stuff again once again on BET.com, <laughs> and uh, she went and she said that they were in some type of a uh, setting, and uh, uh, Bobby Valentino um, called them or her and some girls over, and they came in a setting. It was some story. This, you know, I mean, if that's the part of her story, I don't know. I was not there. However, I do know that I used to be an escort, you know, a hooker and things like that. I've never uh, clientele with Bobby Valentino or whatever. <laughs> I've never done that. So let's clear. I've never done that. Do you know some girls who have? Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. Several. We dealing with facts. Yeah, factually, several We're going to deal with facts. Yeah. So, so that's why I'm okay. Yeah, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, well, I don't know about them being on Chester Bridge, but I know there was a, 
there's many way to clientele with girls, you know, and and there are certain girls that are really about their money, you know. So and, why do you think he's saying that he didn't know? Well, you Is know, that's the, that's the common excuse that, that uh, heterosexual identified men use when they try to tell that story to people that they, they don't, they didn't know that, uh, that ignoring the signs y'all make sure y'all get the book series that tr they just try to use that when they try to say well we didn't know that i didn't know that was because that's that's been an excuse that has got that has gotten them out of hot water for the long so what was her reason for outing him because you know what did she get out of that well let's go on bet.com and, and look how about we do that let's Ooh, go to bet.com one moment please and the duval we gonna get him letter L. What he have to say? Cause I heard some tea on him. Well, I think that that he that certain people like when they be in that situation, like especially when something is so as is as so sensitive as issues plaguing a, a certain community. You know, I think that they should there should be better choices. But of words. Duval know plenty of them niggas he be with is. <laughs> yeah, but I think that there should be better choices of words that that should be used. I understand the what he was trying to say if. He was sexually tricked or whatever, but I don't understand the murder, the killing. I don't understand you putting that in, a, in the in the in the universe like that. I do think that girls should be open about their their gender, and you know I do think that they should before they have a sexual encounter. But we don't owe like I don't owe a man down the street. I don't owe a man walking down the street. I don't owe him to say. Hey, I, I I'm a chick with a dick. I don't owe him that. Mm -hmm, that's not mm -hmm. something that's owed to him. Now, what's owed to him? If I lay down in the bed and I threw my legs back behind my motherfucking ear, I need to he go, before he see the balls magically, <laughs> the dick and the balls magically. I need to say, hey, sir, we're gonna sword fight. I need you to meet Excalibur. I need you to meet Excalibur because I do in a moment want to. I put think the sword she told him that. I mean, I think she he knew that. I don't think that he didn't know. Well, I mean, but then there are things. Kai, I don't think he didn't know. Kai, there are things that that become obvious. There are things that become that are obvious in certain situations. Right. You know, I mean, I, you know, I'm not reading the girl, but I do think that she's still in the early stages of her transition. I don't think that you know, it, it's in the, it's in the latter stages yet, and that's not a read or shade towards the girl. I just I do think that she's in the early stages of her of her transition and. You know, there's, there's. They holler, Lil Duval. Lil Duval can't come for nobody because, like I said, in this industry which he is in, Lil Duval know a lot of down low bisexual ass niggas. Whether they be rappers or R and B singers or niggas that he be with in acting, TV, all in this industry shit. So at the end of the day, I don't feel like it's new to none of them. So for everybody to be acting like this is such a shock, why? Well, half these niggas is fucking these niggas, and half these niggas is bisexual. In the industry, well, m half those niggas. So yeah. for them to be like, I didn't know. Uh, she tricked me. Like, no, we be at the parties, we be at the clubs. They be there. And listen, know. you are listen. Contrary to popular belief, what people think, you are a huge ally to the LBGT community. Yes. You know. Now you have said some things that I gotta take and it. will and they'll continue to do it. No, you can't do that, Kai. Let me give you your hand. I gotta give you a hand tap. Look, I gotta tap you. I gotta spank you a little. Everybody bit. can get roasted. Kaya. You can't you can't discriminate on no, roasting. No, it's not about you discriminating on roasting. What what you need to know that as a as a public figure and as the mouth of the South. I ain't no goddamn public figure. Bitch, as a, as a, as a public, public figure, figure and the mouth no of the South. South bitch, as bitch, a public I'm gonna tell figure, you how it is. But as a public figure and the mouth of the South, there are things that you that you there's there are So there it are, ain't no messy sisters out there. Y'all don't know but no see, messy you can't sisters. Use the, you, but I'm asking you. No. Do you not know some messy sisters? I do know messy girls, yes. But Girl. Girl. Yeah, sister, you this, can't do she's that. She's trying no. to keep it politically correct. I am trying to be politically correct. But I don't correct. have no endorsement. But sister, Lewis, it ain't bitch. about no endorsement to lose. It's about bitch, you know it's no. some messy. It's some messy punks. It's some messy. No, Kaya, no, you can't say it's that. It's some messy niggas. It's some fuck niggas. How can I call you all kind of bitches and skanks and hoes and sluts and dirty ass no good and don't trust no nigga no. And then when it comes to a, some of the gay men and some of the gay But punk, these are things that you can't say. They are messy. Yeah, That's you just can say what y'all But it's just certain terms. So what? There are terms that you cannot, there are terms that you cannot use. There are terms, especially during. There are terms. It's messy trannies. No, Kyle, you can't say that. You can say messy girls. No, no everybody's not girls. Everybody's not ladies.
princesses. Everybody's not queens. Everybody's not goddesses. Everybody is not that. No, Kaya, so you I can't. can't do cheat. I know, but Kaya, it's stuff you can't do. It's I want to. But it's messy, motherfuckers. Period. Kaya, Child, that's why I don't deal with you, Kaya, motherfuckers. I gotta <laughs> hold your hand and tell you this. This what I hold. <laughs> Kaya, Maddie, they can't censor you. And we was in, and we was in Opalaka standing on the, at the green tank. What you gonna say? You gonna say the motherfucking? Word. I understand it, but Kaya, when you are on an open, <laughs> don't you come to Georgia? When you are on and a, start this shit. But Kaya, this is what I'm saying. When you are on an open, this is and this, this is this, this is the thing that goes for Dufall. When you are on an open platform, what would T W D say? You know, Trick is a mess. You know, Trick gonna say it. it is, okay. Okay, so I'm but from that Kaya, tribe. I know you're from that tribe, but you also have a you also, Trick been cutting the fuck up. Yeah, he have. But you That's also have. Dog. I what know. Is, what what Trick, I got to say this? What would JT know. Money say? What would he say? I got. What would Pimp C say? What but, would Tupac say? But those are also well, street niggas. No but fuck Kaya, about you. I'm they are also missing. they are also street niggas. Those are street niggas. You get what I'm saying? That that ain't no street niggas. We all black. We all gonna keep it real. We all gonna say what the fuck we wanna say. And I'm damn sure gonna do it because I'm grown. Bitch, I'm grown older than, I'm growner than grown. So you can't tell no motherfucking body what to say. I don't give no fuck whether you like it or not. Bitch, you ain't got to buy my shit because everybody else is <laughs> <laughs> But Kaya, this is the thing. Oh. But Kaya, this is the thing. People see you and you you and I, you know, you and I are good friends. We are very close. I friends. love we, you. We, we have intimate, but we can be on in the privacy of our place having a, a conversation we can be talking in the privacy privacy but when you go in a public setting and stuff like that you know what would richard price say what would dave Chappelle say what would they say to you motherfuckers this is what your ass is gonna get tonight oh no, lord sister what but, would paul mooney say what would paul mooney say sister but i have to i see i have to get in there and i have to do some i have to do some some pr training with you girl that's why i don't have no goddamn pr that's why bitch why y'all think i ain't been shot to the moon by now because bitch they are you know how many people have said kaya 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 we can't represent you if you're going to be this outspoken i'm going to need you to tone it down i'm going to need you to apologize to a Apologize, but Kaya, you got. Oh, to. baby, there ain't gonna be no apologies, baby, because I meant what I said. Ain't no sense of me retracting it. I ain't, I ain't the type of bitch that's gonna say something and then turn around and act like I didn't mean it. I meant everything I said, bitch. I meant it. Mm -hmm. I did. So, it's a lot of you bitches say stuff and then y'all turn around and act like y'all don't want no beef. So when you told every, when you told the children to suck your pussy for a pork chop, suck my pussy for a pork chop dinner. That's what I said. Did you mean that? I Richard? meant every bit of it. A fried pork chop sandwich. <laughs> Dear God in heaven. That's lovely. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna go ahead and open up the phone lines. The phone lines are open. Please share this video if you have anything. We can't sign you because you too outspoken. We can't sign you. That's what the record label gonna say to me. We're going to open up the phone lines. Open and, up the lines. And, and we're going to let Kaya come through. And you you can ask her what, what you'd like to ask her. And you also will be able to get ask, ask her. Don't her. come here with that bullshit because I'm telling you. Okay. Well, you'll be able to ask her what you want to ask her, uh, her opinion on a certain topic was going on in the media. Okay. The phone number is 515-604-604. 9300. The access code is 982-884. And the, uh, you gotta press star six to speak. All right, ladies and gentlemen. What did Beyonce name her twin? Uh-uh. What did she name her twin? I want twins. The phone line is now open, ladies and gentlemen. <coughs> what did Beyonce name her twins, y'all? Call us, call in. Y'all don't want to tell me what Beyonce named her twins? Did she have those twins naturally? Or were they test tube? What do you think? The phone lines are now open Man, at uh, 515. Do you think she had those twins naturally? Yes. Naturally, she didn't go in and say, I want a boy and a girl like J-Lo. You know, J-Lo went in and said she wanted a boy and a girl, and Mariah went in and said she wanted a boy and a girl. And then Beyonce went in and said, she wanted a boy and a girl. So you think she threw her legs to the moon and had the babies naturally? Yes. The twins? Mm -hmm. She didn't get them, you know, she didn't say, I want this to be a boy and this to be a girl. Are they doing that now? Well, I don't have a, a vagina and I can't birth a child. So I don't know. What, what are they? Do you, I don't know. But 
they, if, they, if, if, if they folding dicks and turning them into pussies, they putting boys and girls in, up in bitches' pussies too. So let me ask you the question: What you, you don't, you don't personally, you don't think that she had 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 those children naturally? I just asked, what did she name the twins? Y'all, y'all know Beyonce would have been let her be if the queen would have did her countdown. What did she name the twins? She named them what? Why you don't want to tell me, Maddie? Well, let's go to Google. I'm going to go to Google, Google right now and see the name of Beyonce. Hey, BJ, what did Beyonce name her twins? All I said was, what did Beyonce name her twins? Hold Nobody on. don't want to tell me what Beyonce let me, named her let twins. Me go. I'm going to go now, and I'm going to see the name of uh, Beyonce's uh, twins. Okay, I'm going to go to Google right now. Google. So what you think? Do you think that everything, is it the natural way to birth children, or is it cool for everybody to say, I want triplets, I want twins, I want two boys, I want two girls, I don't want to mess my body up, so I want a surrogate mother, because I think that's what Kim and Kanye doing. Is that normal, or, because I come from a time when bitches laid down and fucked their husbands and had babies, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine of them, if that's what they had to do, and the good Lord gave it to them. But nowadays, you know, women could just say, I want to just get pregnant one time and have two children and I don't want to do this again and I want this woman over here to carry my baby and I don't want to carry her because I don't want to mess up my body. And then they having these children. What do you think of that? Personally, I think that, you know, um, everybody, you know, has a decision that they need, that they'd like to make. <laughs> and... Uh, <laughs> I do think that everyone has that to say. Okay, uh, someone said the, the name, uh, the twins' names. Okay, as long as you can have the baby, I just that everybody has their own decision to make. Kai, that's all I can tell you. Okay, the baby is named. Hold on, sir and who? Sir and Rummy. And okay, sir, sir and, and Rummy. R U M I and S I R Rummy. What? Okay, do we have any callers on the line? Jamel? Yeah, you ready? Yes, we're going to go ahead and open up the phone lines right now. Um, I got my moonshine glass. <laughs> uh, please, ladies and gentlemen, um, this, these are questions for Kaya. This is not about reading and arguing back and forth. This is questions uh, to Kaya right here. So, and for her to give her opinion on certain situations. We're so, doing the A to Z. You better have a letter. And you better have a topic, because other than that, bitch, I don't want to hear. Look. <laughs> okay. Uh, Sir and Remy. Sir and Remy. Y'all, Sir and Remy. Okay. Remy. Not Remy. Like, remember, because you, you, said, you, said you said some things about uh, Remy, Ma, and Papoose the last time that you were How here. How they doing? I have not been online. I'm trying to figure out what's been going on. Do you still, do you still feel that? Can you say it? Do you still feel the... My Papoose. Who? Papoose. Y'all know I have much love to Remy and Papoose as far as I'm concerned because this wasn't but even you, about but, her. But you're definitely... You know, I'm Team Nikki. You, we de we're definitely yeah, Team so Nikki. You it know. wasn't even about her. It's just about... That you wanted her to go somewhere and sit down and, just, get, and leave Nikki alone. Yes. Because. And show love to your king. That's all. Show and love and to show your love king. to your king. That's, yes. that's all you was really trying to yes. say. Yes, you bitches is too strong. Just show love to your king. Okay. All right, so you're Team Nikki. I'm Team Nikki. I'm Team Nikki. I, I do think that, team, that that Nikki is actually. So what about Car you? Cardi B? Oh, you know what? I got much love for Cardi B. I can't say I, I, I I'm a fan because I haven't really listened to her stuff either. But I got love for Cardi B because Cardi B came out and, did, and just said, this is who I am, motherfucker. This is who I am. Unlike Trina. No, don't do Trina. You know, I know you love Trina. I do. But I'm going to just show you, the, you know, Carly don't B, do. Carly B was a stripper. Carly B was a hoe. Carly B got her money and she was proud to say it. And bitch, I ain't got to do that no more. It, and the, uh, Trina, it was like, I wasn't no stripper. I wasn't no hoe. I ain't never sold no pussy. I was born a diamond princess with a gold spoon and diamonds in my mouth. No, and you button. You got to say you is a paid hoe. You got to say that. You can't be acting like we. I can't respect you because Cardi B came out and just said, "This is who I am." Yes, I was a stripper. Yes, I was a hoe. Yes, I sold pussy. Trina act like she ain't never did none of that. Kaya, she was just a diamond princess. You can't do that, girl. Kaya, you got to keep it one thousand, and she didn't Kaya, come out keeping it one thousand. But Trina didn't do that. Okay. You can't come out and not keep it one thousand. 
thousand and act like that you were just raised with a diamond and spoon in your mouth girl you know you slunk off many poles down there in miami girl and carly b just let you know this is what i did and this is what i'm doing now and i respect that is that why you respect me because i'm open about the thing yes okay but that and I, that's why I love you. I love you because too, you right? gotta tell it how it was. You I can't know, be having these just, people but, fool, but I do not, acting like oh I don't do this, oh I don't do that, oh I'm this and oh I'm that. And girl, no. But I but I just honestly I don't think that Trina because I'm a fan of you and Trina. I'm a fan of both of y'all because don't try to act like she ain't so no pussy child. I don't. But both of y'all are the queen of the south. Both of y'all. Both of y'all are the queen of the south to me. Girl, that's your pussy. You can sell it how you want to sell it. But all I'm saying is, girl, no ma'am, honey. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and open up the phone. Yes. Uh, open up the phone lines. <laughs> Jamel, here we go. I don't. I don't like. I don't, I don't like hoes. I don't. But I'm a hoe though. I know you do, but you a real hoe. Oh. <laughs> okay, let's open up the phone lines. Let's go. Fuck y'all, bitches. <laughs> okay, open up the lines. Open up the lines. <laughs> Caller 1053 on I guess you're making a comeback as a celebrity. No, I'm not what a celebrity and I'm not making a comeback, baby. Your, I'm just Kaya. Your things on the internet, you are saying No, I don't. <laughs> I'm not a celebrity and I'm not making a comeback. I'm just Kaya. But Kaya, why wouldn't you think that you were... Well, Kaya, what about the food stamp fraud? Miss Fetch? Food stamp fraud. Food food stamp fraud. fraud. See, that's why y'all need to stay off the internet because, baby, I've never been convicted of food stamp fraud. I've never well, been eligible sure. for food stamp. I wish... I could get some stamps. Do you have some stamps for sale, bitch? Because I would love to have me a crab board tomorrow. You got some stamps for sale because I buy them, bitch. Do you have any stamps for sale? Let me give you an address so you can mail me that motherfucking ghetto EBT card so we can go get us some shrimps and cra cra a crawfish tomorrow, bitch. If you know anybody that has any food stamps for sale, call your CEO at Gmail. Send me the number and I'm going to send you an address so you can send me that card because we love to throw fish fries and parties and crab balls, bitch. Send me that EBT food stamp because down there in New York, y'all get more stamps than we do here in the South. You motherfucking struggles down there. You bitch get about 800 for two children. Send me that card. I'll send you 350, bitch, so we can go get us some crab legs and we can motherfucking eat good down here in Georgia. Next caller. Next caller. Next caller. Because you ain't talking about nothing, bitch. Next caller. I'm t I will buy your stamps. I never was eligible for food stamps, but I will buy stamps, bitch. So if you got any extra cards, send them to the queen so we can get some motherfucking and catfish and snow crab legs, bitch. Next caller. Next caller, you got to deal with facts, honey. I'm a convicted felonist, but I ain't no convicted felonist of that, bitch. So get your facts straight, because I know you already looked it up. Next caller. Next caller. Girl, y'all, that dirt you got is old and tired. That dirt you got is old and tired. I took the picture in front of the food stamp sign squatting down in the Adidas suit, honey, in the pink and white. I took the picture in front of the food stamp sign because I represent the hood, bitch. And I was in the ghetto where I seen a sign and I squatted down and I took a picture and the media took it in, took it out and wanted to take it. Next caller, because you've been on the line too long, disconnect her, honey, because if you don't have any facts like the R. Kelly reports and the documents down from the courthouse, bitch, don't call here about no food stamp for our hoe because I've never been eligible for food stamps, bitch. Next caller, come up with something better than that, girl. Food stamp fraud. All you hoes wish you had a food stamp card. We love a ghetto EBT, bitch. And if anybody got any food stamps for sale, bitch, send them to the queen because I love to buy them because I love to eat. Girl, that's petty, bitch. I do shows. Bitch, girl, I don't need to be worrying about no motherfucking food stamp fraud. All right. The next um, uh, one moment. The, that dirt you got is old and tight. We're going to get ready to take the next call. Uh, 
Call us, call in for a little while, man. Okay, all right. <laughs> Jamel, let's go to the next caller, please. Don't call here with that bullshit. Get some real shit now. Don't call here with that bullshit. Hey, Queen, hello. Look, he goes that shit What's the name of your call? My name is Chantel. I'm from Massachusetts. Hey, Chantel from Massachusetts. Hey, I love you, Ryan. I love you too, baby. Okay, sorry for the difficult. Yeah, I want to ask you a question, Maddie. So about the um, move the raw situation, I know you spoke about it. I am a black woman, and I'm very supportive of trans women. But all this transphobia, homophobia is so deep rooted in our culture. I feel like I can't even talk to my friends or my family without someone saying an anti gay comment all the time. And it's just annoying and aggravating. And I'm wondering, what do you say to people to get them to stop being so anti gay? Uh, I, I think you should tell people to put them, put themselves, take themselves out of out of the shoes that they're comfortable in, and actually try on somebody else's shoes, uh, or or actually change change the situation from being gay. Give them give those people lots of different scenarios, and then change it from being gay, and then go back and insert it insert the gay situation into that like for example if you tell tell a person Stop being so damn sensitive they should be at the end of the day it, it i think is this it don't matter if you gay you straight it's whatever they can pick at if you broke you broke if you fat you fat if you gay you gay so why is you acting like it's just because i'm gay if that's the only thing that they can say you might be a fabulous gay bitch you might be a bad trans bitch right. but if a motherfucker know you trans they gonna say fuck that tranny bitch this fuck that broke bitch fuck that nappy headed bitch fuck that fat bitch fuck that ugly bitch it's whatever they can find so what, what why are you focusing on the gay comments of course they're gonna say that that's obvious yeah but you know sometimes kaya it is it, it, it would this is a time where it's gotten extremely problematic and i say this to you because we're living I in i think a, it's always been it's always way. been problematic but we're but but now we've we've moved over to we have a a, a commander in chief in the office that has a cabinet full of people who came who come who has come in with that same rhetoric that same that Ugh. same Evil and, and 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 they're in power. Look at look can you guys at, still hear me? Yes, I can still yeah. hear you. Yes. Okay. That's so true too. Yeah. Yeah. But fuck him. Yeah. That, uh huh. Messiah. Uh huh. Go ahead. It's more than just like the anti gay comments. Like I am a cisgender girl, but it's trans. I'm getting killed and hurt over dumb comments. It's not just the comments, it's the rhetoric of honor. They're hurting people and I don't know what to say as a Christian the person who's not really from that type of life mm. but it's not just words, it's these options that are hurting people. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because it's, it's, it's there, like, like what she said. Like, you gotta chill with that because it's not just ha ha ha, that's funny, is people getting hurt or right. something stupid. There's actions that are, that are coming behind those those words. It's just like, it's just not, they're not really just throwing words in the air. They're, they're actions that are coming behind, <clears throat> behind that. But Carla, thank you so much for calling in. Thank you for putting that on the table. I just think that we all go through that though. Not, and you know, it's, it doesn't have anything to do with lacking empathy or compassion. It just is what it is. We're dealing with a society that does that. A hateful society, basically. Of course. Yeah. Thank you very much, caller. Thank you so much. Thank you, guys. Okay. Aw. She was nice. She was sweet. She was sweet. And then, like she said, I'm not really from that. See, that's why I say pick on somebody your own size. Pick on somebody that's going to motherfucking be back the, with, with the bullshit. You know, because even just from here, her, like, you know, she's like, I'm not from that. Like, you know, she's, not not, a, she's not a trans. She's a know. cisgender woman. So, you know, mm -hmm. I'll get her. Okay. Eric, let's go. All right. Call us 7507. You're on live with Maddie and Kaya. What's the name and where you calling from? My name is Felicia. I'm calling from San Bernardino, California. Hey, California. Hey. Hi, Maddie. I love you, girl. I love you too, baby. Kaya. Okay, my question is for Kaya. Kaya, do you feel like that reality that show you was on, do you feel like it took you to another platform, or do you, do you feel um, like it brought you down, you know what I'm saying, like it fucked your career up? Because after that, to me, personally, my opinion is, I feel like you humiliated yourself. <laughs> and I don't want you to take that as an insult, because I do like your music. But I, I feel like you humiliated yourself, and... 
after that show, I haven't heard anything else about you. Good, so you shouldn't yeah, even be on the line. Thank you for calling. Next happened. caller. If you ain't heard nothing about me, you shouldn't even be calling. Next caller. We've already <laughs> talked about this on the last show, so we're not going to repeat ourselves. Next caller, because we done talked about this too long. Go look on Instagram. I already done posted all the response to that. We talked about this five, eight years ago. You eight years behind. It's 20 motherfuckers ever seen. And you still talking about some shit that's in 2008. Girl, it's 2017. Next caller. Next caller. Bitch, she ain't talking about nothing, bitch. Click her off. Click her off. She ain't talking about nothing. We already talked about that last season. Last season. Girl, this is a new season, a new day. It's 2018. You talked about some shit in 2008. Next caller. Next caller. Queen don't come available now. Go and get Queen don't come because she ain't talking about nothing, bitch. Next caller. Girl, you still talking about some shit that happened eight years ago, bitch. You in sleep and in denial. Wake up, bitch. We is eight years past you. Girl, you still in 28, 2008. Okay, well, this is what God I God damn, say. didn't we talk about that the last time? We not going to keep saying R-E-S-B-E, -E, respect okay. me, bitch. We not going to keep saying that. We going to say bitch when I see you. We ain't going to keep saying R-E-S-B-E, -E, girl. That's eight years ago. Okay. Girl, bye. Your, your question isn't any good. Bitch, if you've been watching the show, then you heard that the last time. You sat there and watched the show for a whole hour the last time. So why is you back on the line tonight? You got through. You had an opportunity to talk to the queen and you lost, bitch. Lose it. Lose it, bitch. You watched the whole hour show the last time and you was lucky to get through on the call this time. And this is the only thing that you have to say. Girl, you got the answer to this question on the last show. Find a better question, bitch. You was lucky to even get through on the line. Next caller. Oh, my okay, God. Well, we so talked about that yeah. last time. Okay, so this is so. Girl, how many times they want me to say R-E-S-V? Okay, so basically, then I need to say this. When you went on the show. We you, talked about that last time. You did it for promotion. Okay. Damn, you, can we talk about something when, else? Well, you did it on the... We ain't talking about that no more. But you went... You, let's clear it up right here right now forever. You went on the show. You did it for R -E -S -V -E, promotion. R-E-S-V-E, respect me, still pays me. I'm booked, bitch. I get 10 grand a show, ho. 5,000 an appearance, ho. 3,500 a walkthrough, bitch. You will never get that on any job that you work on at the end of the day. R-E-S-V-E-C-T, respect me, is still paying my bills, bitch. So meet me at the show. I'm in Atlanta on the 25th, bitch. And I'm in Houston on the 19th, bitch. And come see me while I'm performing. R E S P E, respect me, bitch. R E S P E pays my bill, bitch. Uh, pays my bills, bitch. We said this on the last vlog. We ain't finna keep talking about that motherfucking old shit, bitch. It pays my bills. It's a hit single, ho. It's on my gangstress album, bitch. Go and buy it, ho. That's what you need to do. We already discussed it. Okay, so that means to to, to answer the question, I'm booked. Your your appearance on the show, it it, it, it bitch, I'm booked. It increased your album. Just sales. like the rest of these hoes that's on reality TV, ho, they getting booked for appearances, bitch. I'm booked. You try to get booked, get a coin, bitch. Don't call them try to check me about what the fuck I did, ho. I get coins, bitch. Little coins, big coins, bitch. Huge coins, humongous coins, bitch. You try to get you some, bitch. I'm booked. Okay. Next caller. So so your decision worked. Watch how that single right there had me booked for another 10 years, bitch. You 10 years behind, bitch. It's been 10 years later, ho. And you still here checking for me, bitch. Evidently, I'm booked. <laughs> so it worked in your... So basically, the answer to the question is... <laughs> It I'm booked, favor. bitch. Okay, so that's the answer to the question is you booked. And don't ask me that bullshit no more. All right. Jamel. Next caller. Uh, and Maddie, I know I'm in, I'm in your world. I come to your world because I love you at the end of the day. Bitch, I'm in your world, bitch. I don't get no good goddamn whether the fuck you want to see me or not, bitch. I'm here. So evidently you here watching. So you want to see me too. <laughs> like, that's how they is. Maddie, why you got her on your show, bitch? Because you're here watching. Uh, somebody wrote down there that uh, Trina is on her Instagram live. Good. Sell that pussy, bitch. But, Kaya, you can't say that. I'm just saying, sell that pussy. I ain't got nothing wrong. I've sell that pussy. These hoes been selling pussy. Hell. She the originator of pussy selling. I'm glad. Get money, bitch. All I'm saying is don't come for me. 
That's all I got to say. Because like I said, when, when a bitch got some dirt on you, they going to sling mud all in your motherfucking face. Sell your pussy, bitch. I don't sell pussy. Alright, for all the future callers, just make sure you're calling in and stating your point. All and don't call in with that bullshit. I already told you not to call in for that mother with that motherfucking bullshit. Nah. Call in and say some real shit. Don't waste our time. Hell, Maddie got ass right, to sell, bitch. Call us. Call us. Call us 6599. Call us 6599. Call us Maddie. Maddie got ass to sell, bitch. Don't waste our time. I'm and I'm calling from Washington, D.C. Hello. Am I live because I don't know when I'm live or somebody else is talking. So I'm live now? Yes, you're live, yeah, Mama. Okay. I wanted to ask, like, I, no disrespect to um, Auntie's co-host. I don't really know who she is. So I'm Good. Like, so get the fuck off the line. No, she's lit. But I wanted to know, um, do you think it's a responsibility of a transgender person trying to get back on topic, thank God, to Girl, reveal... Bye. Who they are in the beginning, so that it won't be a setup. Mm -hmm. I do think that. It's do you? I do think. Do that you reveal yours in the beginning? I do think that it's. A, it's do you reveal your T in the beginning and all your statuses? I do think that it's important as for you it, whip out your medical records before you slang pussy. I do think that. Okay, wait a minute. I I'm do, just asking you. Do you? Are we live now? We live, bitch. You know we live, girl. We live. Do you pull out your medical records before you slang pussy, bitch? I do think right I'm not coming for you, girl. I am not coming for you, girl. I am asking you a question. Do you pull out your records before you say pussy? Is it needs to be mandatory for everybody to pull out their records? I get an answer. I just want to answer. I don't want to argue back and forth with the co-host. I was at. I just wanted to know. Do you? All you had to say was yes or no. Damn. All you had to say was yes or no that you didn't that you didn't pull. Okay. Well, bye. Well, the, 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 an, the answer to your question. The, 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 answer, the answer to your question. Bye. Okay. The answer. The, the, okay. The answer to your question, my love. The, the okay. The, the, the answer to your question. Girl, by me. Right, okay. The the answer to your question, my love, is yes. I do think that that we have a responsibility. To, to predispose the information before we have a sexual encounter so that we don't give these men the ammunition to hurt us. I do think that before before we have a sexual encounter, yes, Girl, we, get should, your nine. My we should, nine is we should ride disclose ride that information. Me. Yes. Pick up the supply with me. Ride with your nine, girl. Hello? Be up yes, in the please, ride please, with please. me. Okay. Do a homicide. Girl, All right, we're back. Right. All right, okay, here we go. There we go. Go call a friend, tell a friend that we're alive. The queen is okay. alive. Okay, Jamel, here, let's, here's, let's do a caller. All right. Don't be calling with that Next bullshit. Call caller, 8779. Caller, 8779. You're alive with Maddie and Kaya. What's the name? Where you calling from? Hi, say hi to Maddie. This is Ebony from Langley, can you talk up just a little bit louder? My name is Ebony. I'm from Langley Air Force Base, Virginia. Hello, Ebony. Hi. Um, I just wanted to start off by saying my mother, Karen, loves you so very much, just like I do. And for Kaya, I just wanted to say something that has been thick with me since I saw you for the first time on Maddie's uh, live show. And I just wanted to say... Love signals. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what? Yes, throw them love signals out, sis. <laughs> oh, so, oh, wow, y'all. Thank you so much. Thank you, yeah, baby. Me too. So that was love that signals. Was so thank love you, buddy. Signals, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So is that that's a, that's the one what? that's that's from your album? No, that's from R. Kelly out of there. We're gonna talk about him fucking these children and that girl being on TMZ. Oh well, let's pause the callers for a moment. Okay, let's pause well. the callers because y'all know I'm trying to decide: do I want to throw all my R. Kelly CDs away, or am I gonna support R. Kelly because them hoes old enough to know better? And I blame their parents and mom. What you think? Well, do you think that it's all fabrication, or do you think that it's? Do you? I think he like them young, but I don't think he raping nobody. Well, personally, if you look back at R. Kelly's history, R. Kelly married Aaliyah when they, when she was 15 years old. Yeah. 
So he has, he, like them young. he has a young girl fetish. Uh-huh. So, and see, now he's trying to get him what 16, like 16 in Chicago is the legal age. So it ain't well, against 16, the law. Well, listen, 16 years old here in Georgia is the legal age. Well, it's the legal age. So that's why I say he like them young. But, you know, he ain't breaking the law. I don't think he raping nobody, but I think he is a pedophile and he's a manipulator. And should I throw his CDs away is my question because I'm an Arcadia fan. But he don't, I don't appreciate that shit, dog. I you, know he you, got a problem. You're too old for him. Exactly. So you might No, but I'm just a fan of his art. Because he's a motherfucker on that motherfucking music now. He is. But he's a pedophile. Is he a pedophile because he like them young, but they of age? You know, some countries, they they, they, they marry at 12. You know, a lot of you hoes was slinging pussy at 12. Hmm. 12, Kaya? Yeah. Y'all bitches know y'all was fucking a grown ass nigga at 12 and 13. Why y'all acting like y'all ain't did nothing? Why y'all acting like y'all ain't did nothing? Did you have sex at 12? No, I ain't had sex at 12, but goddamn it, I had sex at 14. Well, I had it at 11. Oh, wow. So, shit. I'm just saying. So, I don't know. I, I do think R. Kelly done paid too many bitches on that. He way past Usher. But Usher has a different type of. I kind of got some good old dick too. He a Capricorn with that big old long dick. God damn it, they say anything. Them hoes ain't going nowhere. I swear. I swear. Lord, that pussy ain't going nowhere. Child, he get them bitches fifteen. That's that first dick they done ever had, and they got their lives, girl. He done suck that pussy for a poor child sandwich, girl. Them hoes in this old child and took the bitches shopping, child. Them hoes ain't going nowhere. Now I might would have went for a little bit of it. But when he went all about suck each other pussy and let all these other niggas fuck you and all that, that's when I would have drawn the line. I would have drawn the motherfucking line. So, I don't know, because they say R. Kelly got them hoes in the house going off the chain. Say they be at the strip club, R. Kelly got them hoes doing orgies and everything. I would have drawn the line, because I'm jealous. I want all dick, and I would have been fighting them hoes in the house, and he would have sucked me home. So, that shit would have never worked with me. But, you know that first piece of good dick, then R. Kelly got that big old good dick. Woohoo! Child, them hoes to daddy, stop it. So, <laughs> he is not holding me hostage. That little bitch got on tears. He said, stop this shit, daddy, because I am not coming home. Well, and I like the R. Kelly wife. She's a fine black chocolate queen. That dancer, the wife. The conference has been locked. What dancer, Kaya? The wife, the wife, the one he was married to that got the children from, got a transgender daughter from. She's beautiful, too. Well, she's a he now. Yeah. So he's handsome. It's a he. He's she's beautiful. He's beautiful. Yeah, he's ha yes, he's mm -hmm. beautiful. I think she, I, I like the that. Now, Kaya, now I, I gotta say, you have a lot of madness going, but I like that you respect the, the pronouns. Mm -hmm. I like that you do that. It's just the other words that you use that you got. I don't give no fuck about that, man. Now you know you're not going. Now I, you know what? Only time I hush a little bit is when Mama him. But other than that. So you wouldn't have fucked R. Kelly if you was 14 years old. Nah, I <laughs> That's what I said. Bitch, I'd have fucked him when I was 11. I don't know. Bitch, I'd have been all over him. Let me see you. That's make a that dirty pussy. bitch. But let he know what he doing. I'd have been like, let me see you make the pussy part good law. <laughs> Somebody better stop R. Kelly. Bitch, back Ain't when no I was, way my daddy, my daddy would have shot R. Kelly back, back when I was street. Back when I was growing up, honey, R. Kelly was the finest thing walking on earth, honey. You know. We from we 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 old we old that thing with that big I love he was fat and did and listen he did look like he had a big old black dick when he, he was do. when he was peeing on that girl now he, he did. did when he was peeing on that girl he did, he did look like he had a big he old did. black a big old black he anaconda did. he did look he did. like that now he did it did and look I like. know what he doing to that ass he a Capricorn I know he tearing that ass up but goddamn it daddy should have went and got his child I would have went and got my motherfucking daughter. You know, you have a beautiful daughter. Kai. People don't understand. You have a beautiful daughter that, that looks like you. And, that my baby. And bad. Yeah. You know what? But at the end of the day, I show y'all what the fuck I want to show y'all. Bitch, I'm real about my shit. You ain't finna be seeing me on the motherfucking live every motherfucking day, bitch. Because the shit I do ain't none of your motherfucking business. Bitch, I come from a time where, bitch, we you barely get a picture, let alone a video. So all y'all fuck niggas that act like y'all real and all y'all bitches and hoes act like y'all motherfucking real, bitch. Ain't nobody videoing they stuff that goddamn many times unless you're getting money doing it. And half you fuck niggas ain't got to die. And you ain't fooling me. Bitch, so when I want to tune in and clock in, I do. When I clock out and unplug, I do, bitch. I'm not on here every day because I don't give a fuck about you. Pretty much. So you're lucky to see me tonight. 
Okay, and it is it is just it's straight like that. It is. It's straight like that. And it's like with my children, people didn't even know I had a son and a daughter. People think I got six, seven, eight, nine kids let the streets tell the bitch I got a son and a daughter. But at the end of the day, it ain't their business. And your daughter's beautiful. Oh, thank She's you. She's beautiful. And when we and when she and I first met, I said, God damn, she fine as hell, Lacey oh. Jamel. That's my baby. She fat as hell. That's my baby. But you, I don't feel she like that's everybody's business. I think that's how people getting robbed. They getting killed. They putting everywhere. I'm here. I'm there. I'm at this bar. I'm at that bar. I'm here. I'm shopping. My jewelry. My clothes. My cars. Bitch, please. Real niggas ain't on Facebook and Instagram. So, all right. Well, let's get down to it. I always keep fucking these bisexual ass niggas. Well, nigga. They that's nigga. all that's on there. Want to take pictures of their abs and stomach and in the motherfucking mirror and video and I'm here and I'm there. Ain't nothing but a bitch being the camera that motherfucking long. But I can't stand a fuck nigga. <laughs> so first of all, bitch, real niggas ain't on this shit all goddamn day. And Team Kaya is definitely not on here, bitch. And the kings I fuck with is somewhere flipping back, flipping in the ocean, fishing, bitch, with the children. The hole with 10 inches of dick and you ain't gonna never see him because he ain't got no cell phone, ho. The kings I fuck, bitch, don't, bitch, don't want me on here, bitch. Like I said, he back flipping in the ocean with the motherfucking children, eating grilled fish that he caught ho. So you can believe my kings and gods ain't on here. So I ain't got that much backup on Madison timeline. But all you motherfucking sisters and punks and trainers and bitches and hoes and fuck niggas and fuck ass hoes, I don't give a fuck about you. You luckily I'm gracing you with my motherfucking presence. Pretty much. My team ain't nowhere near this bullshit at the end of the day. Real niggas ain't on here. All you niggas getting killed and robbed and beat up and fucked. That's what you need to get. Because you need to keep your fuck ass off the goddamn internet trying to brag and boast and show out and showcase all your boo all that fake ass jewelry you get from the flea market. <sighs> Had to get that off my chest. Just so you bitches can don't think that the queen is alone. So basically, uh, you like the Jay Z album? Hell no. Oh Jesus! You know I ain't no goddamn Jay Z fan. Hell. Oh Lord, well what happened? I swear to God. Oh my God. Uh huh. I swear to God, bitch. Y'all thirty minutes in, bitch. We finna, we 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 up the hill, bitch. We finna go. We peaking at the top. So is there anything? Cause you told me you had a list of people that you wanted to, you wanted to. Who was it? You. <gasps> Letter S for Serena. Y'all want to talk about Serena? Y'all know I didn't like Serena on that cover of that magazine naked with that baby in that belly. I didn't like that picture. But you talked about Serena before the last time. I did. But what is it about Serena that just irks you? That just irks you? <sighs> what no black man couldn't get Serena pregnant? So you don't no like the fact that No black man couldn't get Serena pregnant. That's all I'm asking. LeBron James couldn't put no baby in Serena and give us a champion child. I'm just saying. And then I didn't really like the fact that Serena was naked on that picture looking all hard and strong like that. I think she should have looked as soft in motherhood and I didn't like that pose that they picked. But she's and an I athlete. Kaya. I don't care. I didn't like it. I didn't like it. I don't give a damn. I didn't like none of it. Kaya, but she's I athlete. didn't like it, Serena, and I don't like that funny looking husband you got either. He's white. I, I ain't got nothing to do with him being white. I love white people and I know I'm going to have me a white husband too. Because y'all niggas ain't strong enough for the Run and tell that. Never. So you didn't like, so, so for S, you didn't like Serena's cover on the top of it. I the, didn't like it. Let it S with Serena. Look, let me actually look, look it, it up. up. I didn't like it. I just think Serena is beautiful. And I think that they just posed her to the side and it showed all her, like, it just showed her side features. Like, it didn't show her face and it didn't show her stomach. It just showed her kind of like real muscular from her side view. And I love Serena Muscles. Don't get me wrong. And nobody got more ass and thighs than Serena. She's a goddess. So let her embrace that. Why they always got to have her looking all goddamn strong and hard and masculine and then try to act like that's unattractive after they put, post that goddamn picture. I didn't like it. And I didn't like that funny looking man that they had them pictures that they been posting of them in the magazine. I didn't like that. You talking one. about this picture? This is a nice picture. I ain't, that ain't the one I seen. It's a, it's a look. Oh, this one. <laughs> Are you talking about this picture? Yes. I think that's a beautiful picture of her. 
I bet you do. But Kaya, look, okay, let me look. Let me let's let's look at the picture. I, I don't think give this a is goddamn a... about Serena. Hey, her tennis playing ass. I don't <laughs> play tennis. Do y'all think I give a fuck about a bitch that play tennis? Do I look like I play tennis, bitch? I like to skate. <laughs> <laughs> bitch, did you just say you like to skate? Oh, mm-hmm. oh my god! Like... And jump double dutch, bitch. <laughs> I think this is a. I think this is beautiful. You do. I can't have no baby, Kaya. You got to think about it for the people like me that can't have no baby. I can't have no baby. I can't put up, there's no baby. What's up with all these naked ass baby pictures any fucking way? Let's talk about that. Everybody want to be naked with their baby. I don't want to see these bitches in your belly, bitch. That's for your husband. What the fuck is everybody taking these belly pictures for, bitch? Because they want to make sure that people don't think that they The babies wasn't even made naturally. So what the fuck you happy for? Shit, you act like God spurred it out the sky and spit that baby into well, your who uterus. Did, who didn't have a... The na- doctor spit it in there, bitch. Who what did, the hell you celebrate? Who didn't have a natural baby? None of them. Kaya, who didn't have a natural baby? I'm just saying. Y'all act like as bitches, the sun and the moon and the stars just done burst it out the sky. And then the, 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 the third moon done came through a t- total eclipse and the baby was made. None of that didn't happen. Yeah, well, nobody happened? ain't chanting in the sky. Tell the sky. me what happened then. Ain't nobody chanting for these children's survival. Did you hear chariots when Sir and Remy came? <laughs> Did y'all hear chariots? I didn't hear no goddamn chariots. That's all I'm saying. Y'all act like these motherfuckers. I don't give a fuck about your children or your belly or your naked ass pussy. Say that shit for your husband. I don't want to see your stomach, and I didn't like it. Is there anybody? You wouldn't have no goddamn tennis match, bitch. I don't like that or your husband. I'm just gonna tell you your face. Okay, so there was somebody else. Amber Holes. I don't know who told this bitch she was a role model, but you ain't. I'm sick of you too. What the fuck? We didn't talk Amber Holes. Amber Holes. You know she was letter A. That bitch get an award. She been letter A for the five years straight. Amber Holes, I got to bring this bitch up because they fans sent me plenty of emails about her taking this picture of her pussy with this hair all on her pussy. And she looked like a cracker at the top and a nigga at the bottom with this black hair on her pussy and that blonde hair on that bald ass head. And then the next thing you know, she introduced her child to this nigga, this, this little child. She done introduced it, she done took that child. I said, where's, where's, get your child. Who is this nigga she done introduced this child to? She ain't known him for two weeks. Talking about some 21 savage. She ain't but 21 years old. This child is old. I said, what's going on? They want to know, well, what is going on? Talk about she's a feminist. And I'm like, no, bitch. We got to talk about you for another A because you is not no damn feminist. When is selling pussy made you a feminist? Why is you acting like you a feminist and you all for women's rights, girl? Like you didn't buy that ass and them titties and everything else that you do to sell more pussy. You selling pussy. You want to make more money. And you went and bought that nigga ass and them titties to sell pussy, like the rest of you bitches. Letter A was Amber Holes, and you know letter B was Black China. Another one. We got to talk about this shit, because why is they acting like they is the victims? Talk about it, because you know you always want to be telling the bitch that you always talk about somebody selling some pussy. But, but Amber Holes act like she's a feminist. Do you think she's a feminist? What has she done to make herself a feminist? Girl, you is not no feminist. You is a prostitute, a stripper. And you are not a feminist. Not that there's anything wrong with being a prostitute or a stripper, but I'm just saying you cannot go to acting like this is women's rights. You got to say, I sell pussy for a living. This is what I do. I love my clients. I love what the fuck I do. This is what I do. How can she try to act like she gonna do a whole woman's walk for the prostitutes and the women and the, that sell pussy? What is going on? Please tell me, Maddie. Please. We gotta talk about this. We gotta talk about this. Bring it up. Do you think she is a feminist? Do you think that Amber Holes do not, is, is, what do you think? What is the definition of a feminist? I don't know, but I know she ain't one. So let me look up the definition of a feminist. Please do, child, honey, bye. I'm going to go to Google again. <laughs> I'm going to Google. Everybody wanted to know what I thought about this woman putting that picture up, and I just said, she said she was a feminist. I said, well, why she say she a feminist? Feminist, it's a person who supports feminism relating to or supporting feminism. So she can be a feminist. She can have her, her big fat hairy pussy on the floor with her legs busted I out. feel you have every right to sell your pussy if that's what you choose to do. If you choose to sell your hairy pussy 
and get your coin. Hold on a second. I hear some noise at the door. What the fuck is that? What it is? What it is? Who is that? Oh shit! I didn't know what the hell was going on. It's a business. Hey. Yeah. You choose to say your pussy. You choose to say your pussy. But you can't act like you just all for woman's rights and woman, and you not gonna let motherfuckers tear you down because you're selling your pussy. But Kaya, right here it says feminist, a person who supports feminism, relating or support, uh, relating to or supporting feminism. Oh, we're cutting up. Yeah, see that? That's what it's saying. Google. Google's I Google feminist. Do y'all think Amber Holes is a feminist? Y'all look up to Amber Holes? I don't look up to no bitch. Hey, cause you that Cause bitch. I make ho I I I make moves. I make ah. I make moves. Ah. I respect women. I respect ah. Do women you think men. Amber Holes selling pussy? Yeah. That's all I'm saying. So why can't you be proud about selling pussy? Why can't you just straight up say, I bought this ass to get me some more money. I bought these titties to get me some more money. I'm fucking all these niggas for cars, clothes, and jewelry. And bitch, get like me. Why you want to act like I'm this innocent doll and I got picked on because the black girls didn't want to play with me. And I got this and I got that. And I'm the light-skinned girl and I'm the dancer and nobody liked me. And I had to sell... Why can't you just say, listen? Boy, the controversy was popping. I said, I said, but, me Kaya, through. let me ask you a question. Sure. I want to ask you a question. I, want you to... I don't want to hear them lies, bitch. I want to look at you I don't want to hear them lies. Because when I get there and then I don't sell pussy, then niggas looking at me like I'm wrong. I don't sell none of that. You know, y'all hoes making it bad for me. I don't give a good goddamn. So, you you feel this way? I about... don't think she's no damn on, feminist. Let me get some drinks. So, you feel it? Let me make y'all yeah. So Come you on. feel this way about Black China? Mm. 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 Hand me that. Mm. Black China was a hoe. Mm. You know what? And I'm going to kind of put Black China in Cardi B. Black China was a hoe. She said pussy. She was a video vixen. She was a stripper. She was a prostitute. She sold her pussy. All I wanted her to do was when she got was raw, when she got with raw, was to be a real bitch. And she couldn't do it. But what? All she had to do was make all the mother niggas respect them. Respect that nigga. And she couldn't do she it. She used the nigga, dog the nigga, tricked the nigga, got the child out the nigga, hauled ass, got away from the nigga. Uh, nigga be the nigga friend to try to man. heal the nigga. You didn't even try to heal the nigga. You just took it pure advantage of the nigga. Okay. It wouldn't have never happened, bitch. Because me and my five sisters would have never let that hoe get in the house around my one brother. We would have beat that bitch long time. So you think so? So Chloe ain't too goddamn gangster. Because we would have whooped that hoe. She would have never got around my motherfucking brother after we done tricked with this bitch. You know, she was Kanye and Amber and whatever. You know, she was Kanye and Kim's trick ass hoe. She was dancing for them, coming to the house. So y'all done let this hoe get to the brother? And have a baby from him, bitch. You would have had a miscarriage because I would have put my foot in your baby. Right. What's your birthday? You would not have had no baby from my brother. I would have never let you get that close to my motherfucking brother. See, that's what you know when you're fucking with right. a white Mexican or mm. Arabian ass bitches. Because it wouldn't have been no coquitos, no Kaya, no Tasha, Shanika. Bitch, it wouldn't have been none of us at the house because we would have beat that bitch to death. She would have never came Shanika. back to our motherfucking house. The mama, too. Kai, them Chris too. They are Armenian. I don't give a good goddamn what they is. She wouldn't have got my brother money. He the only baby boy. All them sisters. And y'all let this bitch creep up in the house and get a baby. And use your hell out your brother. The least she could have did was say, I don't give a damn who I fuck. When you see Rob, you better not open your motherfucking mouth. You better bow down like he the princess of Munda, bitch. Because this is my motherfucking meal ticket. I'm going to get this bitch skinny. I'm going to heal this bitch from the inside out. Baby, I love you. I'm going to have this child from you. We might not be compatible, but bitch, I'm going to be your queen and be by your side. And a bitch can't say nothing about you. They ain't going to catch me doing shit, bitch. I would never let them. I would have loved on that nigga if I was going to have a child. You nasty reptilian ass whore that had that man's child and dog that man after he done helped try to put your ragged ass body back together, titty nipple hanging to the side, and you just want to fuck every nigga. Let that pussy rest. That pussy like a rubber band. It doesn't pop. You done tried to tie a knot in it all. It ain't no collard green rubber band, bitch. That's a regular black rubber band from the ass, though. That shit stretched all out. Put that pussy up, China. Everybody, I'm sick of 
to you, bitch. Every other week, you kissing another nigga in the mouth. You yuck my people. Y'all bitches don't know chlamydia and herpes and everything else come through saliva. You better stop letting these hoes suck your dick. Fuck these hoes. Get you a queen, bitch, if you want to live long like me. Now, she ain't do that man right. I don't respect if I was the sisters, I'd have stomped the mud hole in my ass and it took a tow truck to take it out. And I would get my niece. Well, and sitting that bitch pack. You got to realize she was retaliating. She ain't no real hoe. She was retaliating against the situation. It don't matter. You should have still played them cards better than that hoe. You had a good hand and you fucked it up. You could never be my spades partner, bitch. I'd have had the old pod kicking your ass. You know what I mean? Lose all my goddamn macros. <laughs> 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 bitch, I done lost my visitation fucking with you. Bitch. <sighs> Chloe, you better get that bitch. Bitch, bitch. Call me now. I need to smoke my roof. Okay. Look. Well, do you want to do you want to end it out? Dick the throne you watching, bitch. Do you want to end it out on on Who else we need to talk about it? We miss anybody. Cuz you called me personally and said, "Master, I got to come over there and I got to say a couple of things on your live." Yes, cuz I miss y'all. Y'all already know I've been recording Sunshine Shimon, Sheba Black and Tyree, so I've been in Nashville. Let me stop. Let me turn down cuz y'all know I get in the character. I've been in Nashville recording, so i kind of been unplugged, you know, to be creative. I have to kind of get to the water and just soak all of Nashville in and soak all of Kentucky in and soak all of, you know, just soak it all in and just unplug and get all into being creative when I'm writing. So this ain't my first priority. I miss you guys, too. You guys can hit me up at Kaya Thug Misses on Instagram. Queen Kaya on Twitter. Facebook is at Kaya Shimon, KayaThugMisses.com. I missed the 4th of July vlog, but I will be tuned in for the Labor Day Labor Pains vlog. Much love to Maddie for letting me come in and cut up on her line. Y'all know we cut up. If you are uh, sensitive and faint-hearted, this is not the place for you, especially when the queen come and visit, bitch, because I'm turned all the way up. Um, this is Roasting Gags. You understand me? Book the queen. That's what's up. Where they could, where, is there a place they can reach you, like a, a number or email? Or... Oh, it, uh, well, all of the information is on my website at KayaThugMrs.com. Y'all already know. Uh, Support do, independent artists. Do you want to apologize for Hell no. Did I miss anybody? Is it anything y'all want me to touch on that I missed? Because like I said, I ain't been online, so I don't know everything that's going on. Jamel, is there anything that we miss? Is there anything... Um... That, that we missed that, that she yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> Who said Plies? Y'all know everybody wanted to know why me and Plies wasn't on the Love and Hip Hop Miami. What you think about that show? Is it for real? I don't know. I ain't getting no call from Mona because, you know, I told that hoe I need a million. So if she ain't got no million, we'll fuck her. Well, we were supposed to talk about some Love and Hip Hop LA. We, you did say Keisha Cole. They said Keisha Cole was on there with... um. Yeah, she's there. But you told me somebody... Uh, that guy. Uh, uh, I ain't going to even talk about it. We're going to be nice tonight. Somebody have you been watching? No. Have you been watching Basketball Wives? Uh, I, I'm really, I'm oh, really. Yeah, in a, that's what, don't you think Jackie Christie is crazy? Somebody said, do you think that Jackie Christie is crazy? They think Jackie was wrong for what she said about what Evelyn's daughter. Doing? Do you think that she's crazy? I think she's an alcoholic. I don't think she's crazy. And she know what she's. Shawnee plays the middle. Shawnee, I can't stand Shawnee motherfucking that. See, she's a Trina bitch. Let me, oh, you know what he's saying. I gotta keep on, cause y'all always say I be hating. Good, 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 bitch. Stop acting like you ain't in the middle of shit and you right in the middle of shit. Shawnee know she in the middle of shit. And then she tried to pull her thorn oh, really? at me. That's why Shaq left your Daddy, ass, what bitch. Think about, what y'all think about Monique's Monique commentary? Who? Who commentary? Monique's commentary to, to Lee Daniels and Oprah. Child, you know I'm on Monique's side because I told them bitches about Lee Daniels and Petunia the pig, Deborah Lee. Mm -mm. I told y'all when them bitches hated on me at the Grammys, act like they didn't want to play my shit on BET. Mm -mm. So, yes, I'm on Monique's side. Monique ain't doing nothing saying what I've been telling you how them bitches is, is, is payola. And if you a real bitch with a mind and gonna speak it, bitch, they gonna try to blacklist shit and blackball you. But a real bitch, you can't stop it because, bitch, we ain't gonna stop. Monique, produce your own films, girl, and call the queen, child. Call the queen and direct me, child. You already know. Fuck them. You can't ask a motherfucker for something when they don't like you and you're not going to conform and you're not going to bend and you're not going to fold. What the fuck you asking them for? If you're going to suck dick and lick ass and kiss ass and bow down 
and sell your motherfucking soul and take the lowest pay on the motherfucking pay, motherfucking roll. Or you gonna say, fuck you, bitch. I'm gonna expose your ass and tell you how you tried me and motherfucking. And that's what Monique did, and I didn't wanna put Monique in none of the movies. Like they did the Queen. Why y'all think y'all ain't heard me on the motherfucking radio, bitch? I can't get on nothing, bitch. Could but Kai, you say a lot of things that you. Fuck yeah. I'm so glad it's YouTube and iTunes and this shit right here so now I can be seen. But you say stuff that you should. I don't should. give a damn. Bitch, I'm almost 50 years old. Do you think I give a fuck about y'all? I done lived my, my life, bitch. I'm over the hill. <laughs> Half you motherfuckers ain't gonna make it over the fucking hill. How about that? Bitch, I'm an old hoe, a grandma. Bitch, I done lived. Bitch, I could die tomorrow, but I ain't. I'm just letting you bitch to know. I love you. Bitch, I'm, I'm, I'm satisfied, bitch. I done seen my children grow, graduate from school, grandchildren born, bitch. I done did. Some of you mamas ain't did this shit. I done done. Bitch, I done lived, traveled the motherfucking world, bitch. Made plenty of money. I'm healthy, strong, beautiful. Do I give a fuck about a motherfucker not buying my shit with me on the radio or a movie? Hell no, bitch. I'm crossing my legs in the farm now, bitch. I'm, made it. I'm happy to have made it. Bitch, I could have been in the penitentiary then a long time ago. So what do you say when they call you a one-hit wonder? Fuck that one hit done fed me this long. I ain't never. Do I look like I'm Mr. Mia? Well, what happens? Do you see this chin? Do I look like I'm hungry, bitch? Do I look like I ain't eating hell? Thank you. I don't give a fuck that one hit gonna feed me forever and it's gonna continue to feed my children after they, I'm gone. So that's your response to yep. when they call you, yep. when they say that. Okay. But you have lots of hits. Plenty. Get into them, motherfucker. I'm gonna eat. <laughs> well, ladies and gentlemen, um, look. Is there, did, you know, is there anything else I Is there I need? anything? <clears throat> no love in hip hop Atlanta? <sighs> Mona, y'all know the people oh, want to no, see I us on Love and Hip Hop Miami. Why we ain't on there, Maddie? I don't want to be involved. You don't want to be involved in it? Even for a good coin? It's, it's time. It's why, time. Is, why is everybody all of a sudden taking time out in the music industry and turning to God? And turning to God? <laughs> yeah, it's a lot of people like Bieber and a lot of other people that they won't low key say stuff about the Illuminati. Do you think that that's the reason why they turn it to God all of a sudden? They better stop fucking playing with God. Well, what do you, what do you do. feel about the Illuminati? I think people dying left and right in this industry. That's all I got to say. Y'all keep on fucking playing these goddamn games, yeah? I think they be speaking stuff. In, they, they, I don't. Uh, I, I ain't gonna talk too much about that because I don't need to be missing it on a milk carton. <laughs> 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 I just think you know you have you to live your. <laughs> I tell you, you have to live your life, and I think a lot of people get caught up in all this propaganda and all this bullshit. Live your life and do the right thing. A lot of these motherfuckers is running in fear from them, from themselves. They bringing these demons on themselves. They speaking death into their own life. Yeah. These babies is dying young, 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 young. Like the young man just died in Atlanta. The young Mozzie, he just died. It's a young man, twenty eight. Oh 22. yeah, they shot him up in the um, yeah. They the a Waffle baby House. in the twenties. Yeah, the Waffle like House. I say, they haven't even lived, bitch. I done lived through all this shit. I've been joking since eighty nine, bitch. <laughs> Bitch, I done had my time. You motherfuckers ain't gonna make it. They ain't making it. Right. Stay off this social media. That's another thing. These people knowing your every move, your every step you take. You on Snapchat. You on Facebook. People know when you're home, when you're not home. What club you gonna be in? What right. restaurant you in? They set niggas up. They killing you. They know all your business. Why are you doing this? Well, I don't, I don't understand. Like I, like I say, I post what I want to post. I let you see what I want you to see. I give you glimpses of my right. life. I don't show you what, every bit of me. You know, I keep my family private, my husband private, my children private, my love life private. I I, I, I give you bits and pieces of me, but it, it's what I want to right. give you. You can't constantly let a person know your every move, your every step. Like, right. I come from a time, we what ain't do that. Talking? I do too much dirt. I can't let you motherfuckers see me every yeah, minute. Bitch, I'm running from the beds. I'm scared of the police. What about Papoos? I love Papoos. Papoos what is going on with Papoos? Anything? Because I just love the way you say it. Papoos. I love Papoos. I do. Papoos. And like I seen Remy bring all them old motherfuckers out on that stage down there in New York. Uh, 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 Nikki, you got to put the queens of hip hop together. We need to do a queens of hip hop tour. They did the kings and queens. We need to do it all queens and we got to shut this shit down. You know. So I you think. calling for Nikki to do the queens of hip hop? She needs to do it. Yeah. She, she, got, she do has it. the power. To she do. does. So, so why and they want to see us. They want to see us. I love 92. You love what, baby? Something about it. I love Why 90 school. Why are you doing the I love 92 with salt and pepper? 
I don't know, but Salt and Pepper should have been on the Queens of Hip Hop tour, and Spinderella should have been DJing, and we need everybody to get together right. and do a big show. All the niggas gonna want to come see us. Everybody gonna want to see who gonna get slapped, right. who got on what, who outfit is banging, who gonna rap. Everybody, the Nikki need to put it together because they do the guys all the time, and the girls. We can't never all get together and do a big show. And let's be clear, Nikki is the queen. Nikki is the queen. Nikki is the queen. Let's be clear. So I Nikki mean, the queen. Why she why she went up there with Queen Latifah? And you see, that's what I just said. I said, see how she let Ruby bring all them queens out. We need. She should have brought me out. Uh, hello. She should have bought motherfucking everybody else that's hip hop out from Foxy Brown to goddamn China White, the brat. It's all kind of other females that's in hip hop, gangsta boo, Jackie O, Trina. Charlie Baltimore, E, Missy. Hey, Jackie O, where's Jackie O is? You know, you got to bring them on out. Like, everybody can't get all of us together because these hoes always want to be with the bullshit and just saying, bitch, I'm a hoe. You know I'm a hoe. I fuck four and five uh, niggas at the end of the show, bitch. Oh you might as well go on the set, bitch, and come on out and jump. Kaya, so, okay, no. Put the show together, uh, <laughs> Nikki. You gonna make a whole heap of money. Some promoters, y'all bitches better put this shit together. The queen needs some motherfucking investors. <laughs> no, Kaya, no. Right. <laughs> okay, I'm out. Who y'all think gonna, gonna show out? Don't y'all wanna see all us on stage? Who gonna mm. shut that shit down? Who gonna shut that shit down? Because you know you I need that. to see Foxy Brown and look him. I need to see Missy. I need to see these people. I need to see Eve. I need to see them. Foxy, Foxy Brown too busy beefing with everybody. Who she beefing with? Who who is she beefing with? She beefing, she beefing, she, she steady trying to throw this track out uh, at Remy, but she can't get past like what, 12 on. That's okay, let her be and then come and show your shit at the show so everybody can pay to come and see it. Get so coin. you want people to, you, so, so you will, get coin. you will openly beef right there on stage with them or, or, or bat, would you battle rap with, with them? You know I'm not a battle rapper. But baby, right. I have a catalog. You're going to be, you're going to have to have a long wind to come up there and fuck it with me because I got some kids, baby. It ain't gonna be no remixes. We ain't gonna be rapping on no Kodak Black beats. We gonna be doing the real shit. <laughs> I'm just saying. Like, you know, you can't be rapping on top of your words, girl. You just gonna come right off the cuff. Everybody got their own fans, and everybody got their own style, and everybody. I just think everybody brings something to the table, and that's really what the issue is. Everybody think it just has to be one certain way, this way. No, we all bring our flavor, bitch. Bitches is, is like me because right. certain things people like Trina for certain things, Nikki for certain things, Remy right. Ma for certain things. We all. I mean, everybody got a flavor, you know. What? Right. You know. I'm saving I, this ass for you know. Listen, I love each one of you. I, I love each one of you artists individually for individual songs, Reason. individual songs, songs that resonated. That's with me. right. That's why I say we all bringing something to the table. So it's not like okay, this is the only one, or I'm better. You know, that's why I think it would just be a dynamic show. Why are they playing around? And on that note, why don't you go to Jermaine Dupri? Uh, Jermaine Dupri. You know Jermaine with them kids. He always with the kids. Are you still friends with Jermaine Dupri? Are you still friends with Janet? <laughs> Why you starting shit, man? <laughs> now that baby look just like that man. Did that, baby? that goddamn baby. Now Janet done had a white baby. What is he? What is he? What is he? Arabic? Yes. That baby look just like that man. And that baby is beautiful. All I said was, can we have one black? We ain't had no black Jackson. <laughs> All of the Jacksons, we had no black Jackson. Janet could have had us a Michael. She didn't. Tito, Jermaine, you know, Paris around here talking about she's a strong black woman. No, Paris. No. <laughs> no hate on Paris, but I'm just saying, no, Paris, no, no, no. No, and Janet was supposed to give us a little Michael, and she didn't. And everybody mad with me because I said it, but I don't give a fuck. Y'all know I don't do Catherine peg leg ass. I don't do Catherine peg leg ass because a motherfucking ass ain't right. Either. Anybody want to talk about Catherine and that peg leg? And them grandchildren? Because at the end of the motherfucking day, Catherine, your ass is the one letting all this shit go on, hollering about Joe not the night. Paris said somebody done molested her too. All the goddamn children molested Catherine on your watch, bitch. Now, I'm a grandmama and ain't none of my goddamn grandchildren is getting molested on my motherfucking watch. You peg-legged bitch. I don't fuck with you. I don't fuck with you, bitch. 
Let and I kick your ass out and try. We Jabba. got to protect our goddamn children. And I'm sick of this shit. I bitch. love y'all. I love y'all. But we got to go. Hold on. We got to Family member done molested her. Baby. I said, why the hell y'all get that the motherfuckers get the parents? Bye, y'all. Michael already warned y'all that it was a monster. Bye. I love y'all. I love you. Y'all heard what Michael said. I love y'all. I dare you, Janet. I love y'all. It was very nice. I love you. I will talk with you guys later. I love you. Bye. Oh, Tell them bye, Kaya. Bye, y'all. <laughs> Jesus.